I look around and I see so many good men and women bleeding out. Bleeding out for a system that gives them nothing but a paycheck. You need honor. You need a soul. You need gold. You don't need a paycheck. A paycheck loses its value day by day. One dollar tomorrow is worth less than one dollar today. This is not a glitch. This is the design of money in a debt-based monetary system. Inflation is always part of the equation. Why was it set up this way? When your dollar is losing its value every day, you have to stay in a rat race. You are discouraged to save money. You are encouraged to consume. This depreciating system forced the masses to work for the whole life to survive. It keeps the hamster wheel turning. You don't need this system. What you need is decent values. What you need is your family and the loyal clan. What you need is love for God, no fear for death, and honor for your Rodina and your ancestors. You would not be here without their love and their sacrifice, Bratan. Forget all of the so-called values and goods of modern life. There is no love. There is no honor. Look at the phone you hold in your hands. You loved it when you first bought it. It was worth somebody's paycheck. And within just 36 months, it will be thrown away to the garbage. And a new device will be bought. That is amazing and cool. And you'll love it. And it will also lose its value within 36 months. Don't you see it? Everything in the modern world loses its value in a matter of months. Why does everything lose its value? Because the modern world has no values. It is a dark hole. You put in good people, good work, good souls. It is all sucked up and devalued. It is a depreciating system. Depreciating means that all assets lose their value until they are worth zero. In the modern world, assets, values, goods and people are consumed and devalued. Look at how the modern treats their old people, those who brought them to life, those who did the work. They are sent to rot in elderly homes, isolated, no honor, just death, far away from the houses they built, far away from the people they raised with love and sacrifice. In the traditional world, the old people received the highest honor because they were the head of the families. They provided their wisdom and life experience. Everyone in the family benefited. Some people think that the traditional system is something from the past. They have no idea. Here is something ironic. Most high net worth family in the West do not live in the modern system, the depreciating system. Even today, they live in the traditional system with old values and appreciating assets. It's the appreciating system. This is the system where assets and people gain in value every fucking day. How is such a system built? Values are built with values. If you look at the powerful dynasties, fraternities and families in the world today, those who have billions and trillions, they all live in the appreciating system. They own appreciating assets, mines, real estates, farmland, companies. They conserve their values the traditions, the knowledge through the centuries, the value and honor their ancestors. 
you will not see much individualism here, also not in the rich Western families. Today, individualism is abused to isolate the masses. Yes, you need strong leaders. Everything starts with a strong independent individual. But over the years, the family power, the family name, and the family values are more important than any individual. Ego trips are dead ends. And I am not talking about traditional crime families, but Western families that own most of the world's economy. They don't think months and years ahead, but decades and centuries longer than the lifespans of their individuals. And whoever and whatever is allowed into their circles will prosper. All businesses that start from within will grow. Because they leverage existing values, people and assets. This is an appreciating system. Over the centuries, some of the families and organizations have become so influential that they reached ultimate power. And this has devoured their values and corrupted them deep into their flesh. It has corrupted the same values that brought them to the very top. They have lost all their honor. Bury and forget those who have betrayed honor. Death and God will judge them. Focus not on whining and complaining, but on building. You have the strength in your arms. You have a quick mind and a wide soul. When you unite with the like-minded under good values, you will create an unseen force. Together, everyone achieves more, but only if your values align. Times are grim, and it is time to build new appreciating systems where honor is more than just money. Systems that do not benefit the very top, like modernity, like Ponzi schemes, but all good people. Commit to decent values. At Grimm, we fused old virtues, outstanding people and powerful tech. This is why we founded the Grimm. This is the Grimm Manifesto. People wonder who are all the Grimm founders. Let me give you some hints. We believe in honor and the soul. We have no respect for those who give up their integrity for money, suki. We live our lives putting honor over money, and it has made us very wealthy. We were early investors of Bitcoin, which is a modern example of an appreciating asset. We believe in freedom and independence and stand against all authoritarian powers from left to right. We are accomplished in the fields of blockchain, entertainment, fraternal organizations and entrepreneurship. We have founded something that combines entertainment, education, fraternity and entrepreneurship into something the world has not seen yet. The Grimm. Be honorable. We dominate global social media. We revolutionize entertainment. We build Trojan horses with subversive education. We are revolutionizing social member clubs. Unlike all modern member clubs, we put values and people over money. You cannot buy your way into the green, no matter how much money you have. If you have no honor, you're still a nobody. And finally, we are building a gated economy and bring the honor and the soul back to the money. The honorable economy. I repeat, the honorable economy. Everything is connected with the grim values and we enforce them. We laugh at short-term monies and value only long-term gains. Everything we touch appreciates. In the Grimm, we have ranks. 
and only those move up the ranks who have proven themselves in one essential aspect. Help and advance your fellow people. I repeat, help and advance your fellow people. No ego, no greed, no indulgences. Just good people with dedication, purpose and soul. The ring and the symbols will tell you who is grim and who isn't. Reap the harvest. The thirteenth card is our reminder. Memento mori, memento honorem. We are united under the grim values, and this is what it means to be honorable. Number one, keep the word you speak. What you say will be done every fucking day. This is reliability. Просто делай это, братан. Number two, organize yourself every day. Outer order creates inner order. Number three, you have a responsibility and mission in this life. Do not make money, number one. You will not be a success. You will be a stinking war, nothing else. Number four, in business, in street, and in jail, Cooperation will bring you more power than confrontation. Serve your mission, not your ego grim. Number five, your word is your honor. If you break it, it breaks you. This is sincerity. Number six, be concise. The best men are usually those who speak little. A man who speaks too much is not to be trusted. Number seven, you are nothing. You know nothing, and you have nothing. Keep this mindset, no matter how much success you have. It will make you open and humble and hungry. Number eight, keep your group, your family, your clan, independent of everything that undermines your traditions, your values, your free speech, and your honor. Freedom is not negotiable. Number nine, forget the frail, the mediocre, as you also have to forget perfection. Excellence means you give your full power and concentration, 100%. If you cannot do that, don't do it at all. Number 10, work hard, but one day in week do not work at all. Close your mouth, close your technology. This will open your mind, your vision, your soul. Раз в неделю. Тихо. Number 11. Sacrifice. To gain something, give something. Give everything, but never sacrifice your values. Number 12. Serve. Before asking for help, be of help. We all grow in mutual advancement. Number 13, a Grim will always have a safe house and a bed all over the world. Hospitality is honor. Number 14, distrust technology as all forms of centralized power are to be distrusted. Number 15, Honor your Rodina and honor and protect the wild, our oldest Rodina. Природа, святой. Number 16. Find a mentor, grow, and one day be a mentor. But even as a master, you are just a student. Number 17. The biggest mistakes come from too much talking. Control your ego. Control your emotions, control your words, or you will burn the wood that you collected to survive all winter. Следи за базаром. Number 18. Others' actions and words reflect their reality much more than your reality. 
spit on their judgment, as long you have acted with honor and love. This is emotional resilience. Number 19, respect the elders, the founders, those who came before you and laid the groundwork. Their words count more than use. This is obedience. But be disobedient to those powers that demand your loyalty, but have no values themselves, Suki. Number 20. If money will compromise honor, you will first lose your honor, and then your money. Say no to the dishonorable money. Be incorruptible. Number 21. Your brother is not always right, but your brother is always your brother. This is loyalty. This is tolerance. Two sides of the same coin. Number 22. If you don't know what to do, close your mouth and listen to the silence. What is inside is deeper than what is outside. Meditate and contemplate every fucking day. Number 23. Through silence, you will get to know yourself and the goals of your soul. Follow them with all your force. This is determinants. Number 24. Silence also means secrecy. What is in the grim stays in the grim. We make sure of that. <laughs> Number 25. If you want to be understood, ask questions. Leaders always will ask more questions than they give commands. Who questions leads. Number 26. It is easier to ignite a fire than to control it. Mediation and de-escalation is a high virtue. And in case of conflict, never speak in writing, but always in speech. Control the fire with your presence. Number 27. Follow good rituals. Rituals have one purpose. To strengthen you and your connections to those who help you. They protect you as above, so below. Rituals are habits with soul. Number 28. Protect your family and honor family values. The wife of a Grimm is your sister. Protect the family of a Grimm as if it's your own. The same you Number 29. Honor death. If you want to know what life is about, you have to see and help the people who are dying. This is the mentor who gives life its meaning. And finally, of course, number 30. Everything that you have, you owe to God, to your people, and to your ancestors who made you possible through their love and sacrifice. They will honor you if you honor them. Your values shape your deeds. Your deeds shape your character. Your character shapes your network. Your network shapes your net worth. Your life, your legacy is Bogom. Be honorable. <laughs>